I guess I'll go ahead and start before uh, other people start coming in. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Uh, it is, uh, let's see, August week 4, 2018. Uh, it is Tuesday, and I think we get to Saturday, and we will have Ryzen 12 headlined by Kazuyuki Miyata versus Andy Sauer. Is that supposed to be? I guess so. I, I don't remember the fact that I did that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, he's got a name to him. Jesus. Mid-level national? Okay. Yeah. But uh, in interesting people who will be on there. Reina Kubota. Uh, Gabby Garcia will be on there. Uh, Felony Charles Bennett. Of course, he's still crazy horse in this. Um, oh, yeah. Hongman Choi. That'll be interesting to see. And uh, let's see, Baruto opening it up with Ari Gale. So interesting to see uh, what out of these matches will come. Uh, plus, I did, if I can see it in the matchmaking section, I did sign up the Jason Miller Heath Herring fight, uh, which we'll have. Let me see. I have to do the inducements because of just the way it is. Um, the one downside is, is I don't know how this is going to work um, because this KSW, I don't. I guess I haven't signed him to anything exclusive, but Simon Bayor, who's supposed to be on that on that round two card, uh, is is fighting this Saturday. So. If something happens to him and it takes him a little while, I don't. I'm thinking I might try to replace him with somebody, and then maybe he'll get a number one contenders fight down the down the line. Uh, meanwhile, I could maybe try to sign him exclusively. It'll be a bit easier to do something like this later on. Hey, Jack, how's it going? Uh, contract overview. Oh yeah, Let's see, we got a lot of standard. A lot of standards here. So let's try to... Okay, so I did sign Simon Bayor to an exclusive one, but it was after he took the fight coming up this weekend. So that'll be fine. <clears throat> I don't know how long I'm going to... I don't know how long I'll sit here for. I'll probably at least do, you know, a good hour and a half here and then maybe the football. But I don't know I don't know how long I see myself doing this stream. I don't know. I'm very tired and eh. I think I'm just I think I'm just having one of those days where I'm just really uh what's the word? Just not feeling it. Ashley Cummins drugs suspension, of course denies it. Everyone denies it. Uh, a lot of people joining Pancrase. Pancrase seems to be getting uh, quite a few people. Yeah, it just happens sometimes, I think. Sometimes you just kind of feel... Not like burnt out, because I don't think I'm like burnt out, but yeah. there's just Sometimes there's just like, man, I'm just not feeling like being all that interesting today. I think that, I think that sometimes uh, happens. Vegeta leaving. Uh, let's see here. Anything? No. Wow. Pancreas is getting a lot of people, man. They must have just like moved up somehow to the next to the next level. Got about 35 minutes till uh, New Japan starts. Then that'll probably be in the background because why not? I don't have to. I don't have to concentrate that much when I'm doing MM when I'm doing WMMA like I do TEW because the TEW you have to like deal with all the matches and the angles and all that. Here you just put fights together and just have it do its thing. So I think it it goes a little bit easier. Not to mention I'll be pretty much I'll be pretty much done with this. By the time they get to any actual matches. 
Like, they'll do the tag matches, but I'm pretty sure I'm just going to be moved on by the time <laughs> the G1 matches start. Did I ever... Because, okay, so Katsuyori Shibata's in here. Did I ever check to see if technically Minoru Suzuki is in here? I, just, I never even thought about that. I don't know if we ever checked that. I figured if Shibata's in here... I don't know when the last time Suzuki had, like, an official... Let me see here. Every fighter made weight. All right, cool. It's easy for Gabby Garcia to make weight when she doesn't, when, you know, she doesn't have to do all that. Oh, look at that, BJ Penn. Oh, shit. Uh, Simon Bayor might not, you know, possibly not being, being here for that round two fight. I think that'll be, I need to really start signing a bunch of people exclusively because this is, it's going to get uh, Cody Bollinger. He must have been someone who was let go of UFC. Or Bellator. That's fine. There we go. Uh, let's just do any. And we'll see just all characters who are in here. Uh, Alright, so the only Minoru is Minoru Philip Kimura. He got his ass kicked in that first round and is still recovering from that ass kicking that he took a couple months ago. I think officially now, let me see, let me see in the matchmaking, because I think officially now, um, Alan Crowder is back. So that leaves us with, um, you know, potentially who he's going to face now. Like I said, Simon Bayor might not be able to show up. So I I might have to take one of these other guys that Crowder can... It, Jesus, it looks like most of the guys, except for maybe Roque Martinez, uh, are just going to... He's just going to steamroll them. But that might be the fifth heavyweight match. I guess we'll see the outcome of this Bayor fight. Hey, Budden, what's up? <clears throat> All right, so yeah, we did our weigh-ins. Everyone showed up, made weight successfully. That's good. Um, Invicta, they closed the bantam weight division. No, that's fine. Uh, let me see here. I'm just trying to make sure there's nothing else I need. He already gets he already gets put in a weight class, right? Okay. Damn, son. The fuck happened? What did some of these things Okay, so all these pretty much started. Okay, so the Nate Diaz fight was in the game, but everything else actually happened. I can see isn't BJ Penn Isn't he uh Retired now because I could see why. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just watch them all. We'll go to the. We'll have the prelims. We'll have the main card. You know, we didn't get to do this in the last one, so of course we're gonna we're gonna go through all of them here. How to get BJ Penn? Uh, I threw a lot of money at him. Ryzen isn't Ryzen isn't like huge, but they're like fifth in the world. Uh, in this game and probably in, in real life like so I just threw a bunch of money at him which will probably bite me in the ass but we'll see and UFC obviously cut him after like six straight losses hey Daredevil alright Ryzen 12 in Kanto the third Ryzen show 2018 six main fights four preliminary bouts Kazuyuki Miyata going head-to-head -head with Andy Sauer in a lightweight fight. Elsewhere on the show, we have uh, the Ryzen debut of Hong Man Choi. I feel like Hong Man Choi is a guy who probably realistically actually did. I don't know. Did I, I'm pretty sure I looked this up because he has, he has an odd series of fights to his name. 
Yeah, he seems perfect for for Ryzen, but he's never showed up for it. That's right, because he beat he beat a comedian, and then his next two, then his next three. I forgot. Hongman Cho is a weird one because he beat a comedian in his first fight, and his next three fights are as follows: a loss to Fedor, a loss to Mirko Krokop. This is in 2008, so Krokop was like at his at his head kicking best. And then a win against Jose Canseco in Jose Canseco's uh, only recorded MMA fight. So, yeah. <laughs> Reina Kubota, who uh, I feel like I should maybe put my... Uh, yeah, the, the, It's weird It's weird because she's like super heavyweight, but that's because I have an open weight division. Because <laughs> Gabby Garcia would not fit in any other spot. But... Uh, yeah, Reyna did uh, win her last fight uh, when I did the Misha Tate thing. Oh, wow. It wasn't actually that long ago. It was just a month ago, so she's fighting again. Maybe I should put more money on her than Rin Nakai because Rin seems like she's going to be out for a little while and uh, didn't do as well as I'd hoped. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Baruto is going to be, I think, in the very first fight. Uh, he lost. He lost to Simon Bayora by submission, uh, so he's just gonna have a fight that has nothing to do with the uh, the tournament. So there you go, uh, Kazuyuki Miyata, Andy Sauer, six to one for Miyuki, Hongman Choi, Joel Almeida. Choi has the five to two. 11 inch reach advantage, significant weight advantage. That makes a lot of sense. Reina Kubota and Lady Tapa. I'm actually kind of surprised that there is uh, such a close. It might just be Lady Tapa's size, honestly, is that the only reason why she would fare a chance against Reina. <laughs> Gabby Garcia and uh, a victim. Uh, I'm just uh, Dumont might win, but I mean I'm mostly going for Garcia on this one. Who knows? I've had I've had my crap fall on my head uh, with the Rin Nakai loss already. So Charles Bennett in a uh, in a Charles Bennett kick somebody's ass uh, fight. Everyone's going for him. Five to two of uh, Kyra Batara over Kylan Curran. Sheena Van Hoos, Dodo Perez. Uh, Perez looks like she's going to be. That makes. How does Pay Wait. Okay. Something didn't happen right. Because that says she has a 61 inch reach advantage. How does she have a 61 inch reach advantage? Does Sheena Van Hoos, like, not have arms? Is that the thing? Because, like, I'm, I'm trying to think here. I'm a six foot four dude. You don't, you can't do 60, 61 inches is five feet. So does, does she not have arms and the other one has like five foot long arms? Cause this is amazing. She, it looks like she has normal people arms. So, and it looks like she has arms cause I could see her fist right there. So something happened. I feel like this shouldn't be as a uh, one sided. Is she just allowed to headbutt? Is that what's going to happen here? <laughs> She's just going to be a master kicker? Cassie Robb, uh, Natalia Denisova. Uh, a lot of people going for Cassie Robb in this one. Two and seven, she could probably use it compared to four and three. Oh, wow. Oh, and one and rising. That's ah, all right. Kai Car friends, Tohokate Spatula. And uh, Cara France, Sevdo. All right, I'll take that. And then Baruto and Arigale. Most people going for Baruto, but uh, we'll see what happens. This is the debut of Arigale, and that is the opening contest. Start the timer. <clears throat> Baruto with a 50 pound weight advantage. Oh fuck! You did get, <laughs> you did get Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> oh no, Baruto's already done. Maybe, 
Oh my god, that might be it. Oh, Jesus Christ. I read the chat and the next thing I know is that Baruto gets knocked down and get his his shit pushed in in a minute 24. Jesus Christ. All right, well, Baruto loses again. I was really hoping Baruto was going to maybe have a decent fight. He was had the slight advantage over him, but eh, I guess this ain't sumo. <laughs> Finish reading the play-by-play. -play. Yeah, I think I'm done. There's not much, not much else. But Auri Gele, how how old is he? He's 23. Okay, you know what? Baruto's 33. This is a young guy we could uh, post our hopes and dreams on in uh, <laughs> in uh, in the heavyweight division. Uh, Auri Gele, the uh, the future of the heavyweight division, praises his team. Sponsors and fans. He's very happy to cap his rising debut with a win and a, uh, a a very quick and easy one at that. Wow. Cara France, 20 pounds heavier. Let's see if that does anything here. Mm -mm -mm. Trading strikes, more strikes. Can't connect. Uh, seems like, uh, oh, Cara France go for a takedown. Not able to make it happen, though. <laughs> Can't seem to uh, hit much of anything right now. Not much going on here in the first three minutes. Oh, never mind. Head kick. Oh, no. Spatula might actually get him. Cara France, he was supposed to beat him. Oh my god. Come on. Uh-oh. He is in some trouble. Oh my wait. What did that say? Tries to pick up spatula, dump him onto the ground. Okay. Didn't go down. Spatula still. Oh, he gets the takedown though. Connor France gets the takedown. Submission. Oh, he got him with the rear naked choke. Ooh, that was close. Uh, it sounded like it was kind of close. It's not a whole lot happening, and then just boom, boom. Just like that, it looked like uh, Kai Kara France was going to uh, to lose there, but gets himself a nice victory. And that was Spatula's pro debut, it looks like. Uh, did, a, did a good job, just uh, ended up not doing better than the 16-7-1. Uh, Cairo France as he submits him. Name checks everyone at City Kickboxing as sponsors, friends, family, supporters. Show respect. All right. Everyone's just so respectful. All right. Cassie Robb, Natalia Denisova. She's nicknamed the Hulk. I have a feeling this might not end too well for Denisova. I don't know. There's just something about having that nickname. You never know. Hundred and six pound Hulk, yep. <laughs> Gets the hundred and twenty-five pound. <laughs> uh oh, wait a minute, she's on wobbly legs. Denisova! Denisova, big strike! That's it! <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? Uh That's a puny ass Hulk. Jesus, Natalia Denisova with some huge strikes takes her down. In 225, what the fuck is this show? Uh, welcome to Ryzen. Holy Christ! I should I should try to look into potentially start making my own MMA thing. Do like a local to global with MMA. I don't know. I'm having a lot of fun with like somewhat named people and the insanity that ensues from this. Dennis Over Spencer thanks her for sponsors and the fans, and uh, she's gonna. She's going to uh, up her record to five and three, while Cassie Robb, uh, supposed to have done well, uh, does not. All right, so we'll see what happens here. Opening bell, touch gloves. I guess someone. Okay, already a take takedown. 
I don't know why. That's, it, oh my God! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, well, a minute twenty-two in, Sheeta Van Hoos goes down, and uh, Dora Perez is going to go up to eight and two. <laughs> I mean, it shows her as a massive favorite. I didn't think she'd just immediately, like, take her down to the ground and just start raining punches down on her. All right, thanks, fans, friends, friends, whatever. Thanks, people. All right, Kyra, Batara, and Kylan Curran. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Uh, Okay, we are on the main card. That's what that is. She did have the reach. I don't know how she managed to have. It's physically impossible, unless you're fighting Stretch Armstrong, to have a a, a 61 inch reach advantage. I'm, I was hoping that's a oh takedown already. Oh no, are we? We're gonna see this happen again. Oh my God! Right hands still can't pull her away. Still firing at her. Tries to pull her. No. Oh, my God. She's just smothering her on the ground. Oh, my God. Is is she? Okay. It looks like they are back up at some point. All right. So, Batara doing well. Keeping keeping herself uh, away enough to land some strikes. Oh, another takedown. Nope. All right. Good. Good. This won't be... This might actually go to the end of the round. Are we actually going to get out of the first round? I feel like that. Uh, I feel like the the prelims went quite quickly. Considering that, I think they went for like a total of like ten minutes. All right, final round, five minutes. Let's do this. I think Batara definitely has this one, so Curran's going to have to look to really get in there and try to. Try to make it happen. Getting taken down is not going to help, though. Batara just smothering her, seems like. I guess it doesn't even matter if she doesn't do a lot of damage. As long as she smothers her, keeps her on the ground, that's going to be pretty much it. There you go. Official decisions. I I think, obviously, Batara is going to be the unanimous winner here. Yep, Kyra Batara. Decent match. I guess uh, I guess it's only decent because uh, people aren't the biggest fans of takedowns and wrestling. They want some strikes. They would they would rather watch Baruto get knocked out in like a minute and a half than watch this technical ground fest. <laughs> At least she didn't have to pay for the flight from Hungary to beat her ass. <laughs> That's a very good point. Karabatara uh, thanks everyone connected to her camp, preparing, showing respect. She praised her for her skill and toughness. Batara was great. Everything about her says star power. Very nice. Good to know. All right. Crazy horse in a fight. Crazy horse better fucking win, but you never know. Dan, Dan Mergliata is just having to ref everything tonight, it feels like. Let's see, landing a left, jab wide. Oh, no. Looks like they're just, they're just beating each other. It looks like they're just trying to beat each other senseless. By the way, I like how Charles Bennett's, um, his, his uh, discipline is in street fighting. He is just the the crazier version of of uh, uh, what, what's his name, Kimbo. He literally just <laughs> built a reputation on street fighting and sixty some fights. Jesus. And I'm assuming spent it all on some sort of drug. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like they're just kind of uh, Oh man well, oh, Okay second half of the round I thought that said second round I'm like 
That went quickly. So yeah, it looks like it's just a lot of uh, back and forth right now. Stay hydrated, bot coming in 27 minutes in. I feel like sometimes it doesn't come in until like the hour mark hits. Or at least I don't remember it. Uh, I think it said Charles Bennett was getting tired, so we'll see what we got. Doesn't connect, scores the great right hook, trading blows, nothing. Ever, they're just, they're just, I want to see the, the metrics on this. Because it looks like it's just a lot of punches and kicks. Like, they are just going ham on one another. Like, some sort of, like, <laughs> like some sort of, uh, of, uh, indie wrestling thing where they just start pulling each other for like hockey fight punches uh oh definite limp oh man he's taking okay so yeah the damage to his legs are starting to uh, starting to get to him alright so striking him seems to be the thing but uh, let, me, let me see all those uh, leg kicks nine jab kicks Charles Bennett tried it himself um, other than that, it's a lot of jabs, some power punches by uh, Bennett. But yeah, it seems like uh, the name of the game for Bennett is to try to punch his way out of this and uh, not gas while uh, Sismundo is uh, leg kicks. I think that's how I'm pretty sure. Let me let me see. It didn't Houston Alexander. I can't remember if he beat Kimbo Slice. But I remember that was a big part of Houston Alexander's fight with Kimbo Slice. Was, uh... Was leg kicks. Like, that's what Houston did. I'd love to know before I go on. 17 and 16, so he's not that great. But I know he fought... When he fought Kimbo, I think he did that. Jesus, how many fights has he had since... Okay, I definitely passed by it at some point. Why don't I... Why don't I see it? I don't even see it. Why don't I see his, his fight? Against Kimbo. Am I blind? Alright, well, I'm not even going to worry about it then. Screw it. So, let's see if Charles Bennett gasses out or not. Left cross, uh-oh, right hook. Bennett's limping. Let's see what we got. He's got to start getting something. Bennett's been cut. Sismundo gets knocked down because of it. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Well, Bennett, Bennett tried to end it, but it looked like it didn't happen. Sismundo's breathing hard now. Let's see. Bennett working with him there. Still in the clinch. He's he's got he might gas try not to gas out. Oh my god. They're just so tired just leaning up against each other. <laughs> Official decisions. Sismundo might have it because of what he did to Bennett. Nope. Bennett Bennett is the unanimous decision winner. Okay. Must have been that second round. Where he nearly finished him off because, you know, he was limping through some of the leg kicks. But uh, I think the fact that he seemed to do more damage in the second round is probably what put him over. So Charles Crazy Horse Bennett. Thanks, everyone connected to blah, blah, blah. Names a local club, says he's hitting there for a post-victory party and everyone's welcome. That makes sense. There's no doubt that he knows how to talk with the best of him. His natural charisma shine here. Like, you're, you're not... You're not speaking to someone who doesn't understand that. <laughs> I understand that perfectly. <laughs> All right. Gabby Garcia in a fight Gabby Garcia shouldn't lose. But you never know. So, yeah. Dumont. Did that say 150 pounds? Or no. It should be 105. Yeah. 245 to 139. All right, let's see what happens. Striking, striking. Oh, Dumont, Dumont seems to be using uh, maybe a bit of her speed to uh, get this. 
Let's see here. Still seems to be a, a lot of counter punches right now. I think Dumont is uh she's uh she's she's kind of doing it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Gabby, Gabby better start landing something. This isn't uh this isn't the greatest. Gabby, oh no, she's cut. Gabby better get a move on here. She better get something. She's a, she's a, she's a big girl. She better start hitting something. Quick jabs. You're not in that position right now. <laughs> oh man, Dumont might actually have this. She's been showing herself to be really good, really solid. Garcia trying to conserve energy here in the last minute. Uh-oh, ringside doctor. Oh, okay, let me see this again. Oh, okay, so the bleeding the bleeding doesn't seem to be an issue. Okay, cool. Yeah, I did see the Champa Triple H picture. All right, that's the end of the first round pretty much right there. Gabby's got to start hitting something. She's got to she's got to make it happen right here. Right here right now Gabby's got to make this happen. Dumont has been uh doing extremely well against her. Gabby's just got to get one of those bear paws in here. Why you got a takedown? Oh my god, she got her. Now you got to pound away. Come on, Gabby. Oh boy, I don't think she can make it. Come on. Half guard to full guard. Come on. Garcia has mount. Oh, damn it. Oh, that might be it. I think I think Dumont's going to have this one. She did tor she did well towards the end, but yeah, she just couldn't pull it together. So Norma Dumont by unanimous decision. Maybe if Gabby had another five minutes or so, because she was in mount. She was in mount. Wow. So this is what happens when Gabby Garcia goes up against actual fighters and not 50-year-old pro wrestlers. Good to know. I mean, she was a decent favorite. This is this is the night of upsets. Welcome to the night of upsets. Jesus. Dubon thanks for sponsors, fans, friends, Blasey Blasey, show of respect, star power. All right. Reina Kubota. Uh, who knows? Maybe this is the maybe maybe the the um maybe the uh, bigger woman uh, beating the ass of the other the other woman is going to transfer from Lady Tapa. Oh my God, dude! Gabby losing and Lady Tapa winning, it would probably just kill me. I'd probably just want to quit. Oh, come on. Don't do the counter jabs. Come on, Reyna. 5-0. and oh, Don't lose to Lady Tapa, of all people. Don't glance at the clock. Just beat her ass. Oh, God. I'm nervous now. I'm kind of nervous. I need to see her. Okay. Okay. She's doing good. She's doing pretty good. Looking to strike. Throws a counter. Uh-huh. Let's see. Lady Tapa with a counter. Come on. All right. Got some jabs going. All right. Cut open Lady Tapa. That's good. That's good. That's solid. We keep that going. We could. We could do something with that. Not a lot going on right now. A lot of little, a lot of little jabs and stuff, but not much of, not much else. Let's see. There you go. That's it for the first round. All right. This seems like it's gonna be like a great. It seems like it's gonna be a great fight. Yeah, good round is what they said. Jesus. Okay, this isn't even as close as I thought it was. Lady Tapa hit one power punch. But it's 25 to 1. Or 25 to 5. Jesus. She said it her five as many times. Who the fuck is... Who, who is Dan Mergliata? Uh, 
I was like, is Mari Yamasaki refing this? Is that why? I guess if Lady Tapa's still standing, then it makes sense. Just get back over there. <laughs> All right, so yeah, got the uh, got the got her bloody. Not a whole lot else besides that. Trying to stop the bleeding. Let's see if maybe she cuts her back open again here for the round number two. There's engage right hook. Okay, so she's she's not providing a lot of damage against her, but she is landing a lot of strikes. A lot of strikes. <laughs> I don't think Lady Top can afford to just start taking hits. She's uh, she's not really doing much of anything right now. Takedown attempt doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. But Lady Tapa really finally third times a charm for Lady Tapa taking her down. Rear naked choke. Don't you do it? Don't you do it? Okay. Uh uh uh. Oh my god. Who the fuck locked in that rear naked choke? Was it Lady Tapa? I don't think it was. Wait. Takes the back of Reina. Attempts a rear naked choke. She stops her from getting the arm. Okay. I thought it said it completed the choke. I'm like, what? Oh, I was so scared. That Lady Tapa out of nowhere is just going to choke her out. Oh, I'd hate life. But yeah, it seems like that'll be it. And uh, Reyna will take this one. Yep, unanimous decision. For Reyna Kubota getting the win over Lady Tapa. Lady Tapa goes down to 0 and 3. And uh, five and or six and zero now for Reina Kubota. Name checks everyone at her fight camp. Uh, show respect. Reina Kubota is the whole package—a charismatic talker with looks to match. She's a real superstar quality in this sort of setting. I feel like whoever's uh, giving me this <laughs> is just in love with Reina Kubota. Not that I, not that I completely blame them. <laughs> All right, Hong Man Choi and Joel Almeida. Kevin Mulhall, the ref. Weight difference is obvious. Really? You mean the seven foot two guy is uh, has an obvious size difference? He doesn't. Oh my God, he's already bleeding. We are less than a minute in. Wait, what the fuck already happened? Choi seems to have suffered. Choi has cut. Less than a minute in. Jesus. They barely even got in the middle of anything. I feel like this is one of those times where if someone wants to be contradictory and just bet against the the favorite, this would be one of those uh this would be one of those shows where they would make a lot of money off of the, the difference. Uh, checking the cut still. Okay, not a problem. But yeah, getting cut like less than a minute in means he's probably going to have to get a move on and trying to do something here. Almeida, I think, is already out of breath. Jesus. Let's see what we got. Missed the big right hand. Allowing the strikes. Almeida... Still, still hitting him. Choi can't seem to hit anything. Doesn't matter much if uh, if uh, he's not landed him, if he's taken him. Oh my God! Reopen the the gash. Jesus, we're not even through the first round yet, and Choi is just gonna be bleeding all over the mat. God damn it! Oh my god. That's the end of the round. Come on, Choi. Is he about to get his ass kicked again? This ain't even oh my god, takes down to oh he's gassed too. He's he's bleeding and he's gassed and he's losing. Yeah, he's done. He's done. Still still dodging takedowns, but it doesn't mean anything because I don't think he's going to get anything 
going here against Almeida, and it looks like Almeida is going to uh, get him here. They're both just leaning on each other here. What? Whoa. Oh, so he hit a lot of jabs, but... So that second round, he hit a ton of jabs, but it seemed like he was more tired. Cut from his own gloves, probably just, yeah, I think that's what it said. I was thinking with the damage that he had taken throughout the fight that uh, Almeida, I think, definitely won the first round, but I guess not. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I mean, look at the differences between them in the first round. Almeida just kicked his ass in the first round. Just kicked his ass. Round two, I mean, it looks like Choi did much better in the jab department, but overall, uh, a lot more was thrown by Almeida, but Choi gets the win. I don't know how how uh, how much I uh, I mean I don't, I don't know I don't I don't I don't know what to uh, I don't know what to think here. Shouting out his people, celebrating his debut fight. He's a charismatic performer. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that, but okay, I won't uh, won't get into it. Main event: Kazuyuki Miyata. And uh, Andy Sauer, 15 and 9 and 2 and 3. Okay. Kickboxing versus wrestling. So it should be interesting to see what happens between these two guys. Immediately there's a takedown. Jesus. And he's just, he is just throwing hands. He is just continuing to just fire off punches. Jesus. Lack of progress. Okay. And another takedown. <laughs> Miata is just. Oh God, this is gonna. This is like people are not gonna be happy about this, are they? He is just getting smothered and beaten up. Miata again <laughs> with another takedown. What the fuck is this? Oh my God. Just spends the entire time taking him to the ground and then just wrestle fucking him. Oh my god, he takes it down again. Oh my god. Sauer is just getting annihilated right now. He is not doing, he's not able to do shit. Another takedown. What? <laughs> Oh my god. Are we serious right now? That's it. I think Miata oh yeah, it's main event time, so we get another one and he's not enough. Oh my god, I forgot I added an extra five minutes in the main event. But oh my god. It's just nothing going it's just Is he gonna No, okay, he's gonna <laughs> take him down again. <laughs> Why not? Uh, this is just gonna. Oh man, gee, I wonder who won. You're kidding, Miata won. I can't believe it. Very poor. Yeah, that sounded that sounded like a shit show of a fight. It was funny, but yeah. Re oh my God Almighty! Seven for seven on takedowns. He landed one jab. One punch, one kick, 132. Uh, I don't, I don't even know what to say about that. Jesus, very poor. I don't know. That seems like a, that seems like such a meme fight right there. Name check. He wants to fight Clay Guida. Huh. You managed the interview with Aplum. It was a very impressive, assured performance. So I'm going to go with they're not going to get fight of the night. There is not a lot. Of, there wasn't any goddamn take. That, there wasn't any TKOs on the main card. They all went to decision. Jesus, how long did this fight go? How long did this card go? 
if you think about it, I mean, we're looking at 15. There's an hour, hour 15, just in pure fight time. So you put in entrances and between rounds and stuff, just tack on an extra five minutes to each of that. You're looking at two hours just for the non the non main event stuff. About another half hour for that. Good lord. Miata gets a performance bonus. I guess so. Critical rating at least did okay. You know what? Still still did alright. Uh could have been much worse. And uh Mara Renault and Frank Shamrock doing extremely well. Increased our popularity even more. <laughs> Fight of the night, Reina Kubota. Um, I thought that was I thought that was good. Uh, Crazy Horse. Ah, uh, I'm trying to think here. Do I want Reina Lady Tapa or Charles Bennett and Sismundo? Actually, you know what? I think I'll go with Reina. No, I think Fight of the Night should go to Charles Bennett, honestly. I think that I think that might have a little bit better uh, I don't know if they're gonna like that. I don't know if she'll like that. But I think I think uh Kung Fu Panda gets fight of the he got knockout of the night. He doesn't need fight of the night, he just kicked his ass from one side to the other. <laughs> Great, now you got me saying Kung Fu Panda. So, yeah, I'm going to give Crazy Horse fight of the night because I think that was a little bit more back and forth than uh, than that. So, I guess I guess if I can do that, I'll give them both fight of the night. Co-fights of the night. No, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to stick to one. Crazy Horse, I think, was a better fight. There you go. Reina, Reina already got plenty of money. She's already the highest paid one. Somehow we made money on that. Ads and subs, I think, was a big part of it. The gate the merch was good. I'll take it. Hopefully Simon Bayor didn't get his ass kicked too hard. We could put him on a future show. I got a knot under my chin. I'm trying to... Oh, yeah, you did put knockout of the night, not fight of the night. He really did get knockout of the night, though. <laughs> that was just... Punch, punch, dead. Good job. I am so tired. <laughs> Hang on one sec. I should have done this. I should have done this like as I was. It's fine, whatever. This young team, an opportunity for a double team. All right, I'm trying to do this. There we go. Perfect. As a team as well. Schultz is gaining experience as a young lion. Hanare just completing. Oh, that's Toa Hanare. Young lion journey. They just keep multiplying. Living what the fuck's the going on, guys? Oh, yeah, it's out of the, house. the Tongans, they keep multiplying. <laughs> we mentioned last night Hanare starting to add some offensive weapons to his arsenal. <laughs> Goto coming in for that big kick, but Hanare stops him short. But Got to open the maid card next time. Oh, Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> Whitaker versus Weidman. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got CB Dalloway. That's helpful. Oh, Jesus. Invicta's trying to get... Uh, let me see this. Let me see this. So, Invicta's trying to get her. But aren't we already exclusive? Do we need another one? I'll give her another one. How about that? I'll give her like twenty five hundred a fight. I'm gonna up her. I'm gonna up her because uh, she seemed to be very good, and she seems to be someone we can uh, 
you can put a lot of faith and trust in. So I'm going to give at least three of those fights there. There you go. Yeah, I think I think that'll that'll work out. There you go, Simon Bayor. Uh, I guess we'll we'll see it when I get a chance here. Uh, Gabby Garcia is coming to the end of her Ryzen contract. Boy, that's not what you want to hear. Is hey, I got my ass kicked. Well, she only lasts in six. Only only recuperating for six days. So. So the last thing you want to hear is I'm getting you got your ass kicked and now it's contract time. It's generally not something you want to have happen. Yeah, I know it's not good, Kevin Kelly. <laughs> there we go. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Lady Tapa. Do we want to sign her? Is there a reason to sign her? I mean, she's gaining some popularity. You know what? If I can pay her like $1,000, why not? I'm going to give her like a, like just a sheer, like, not a, not a, like a, um, I'm trying to I'm trying to find the right words for it. Not a not a, a a competitive contract. Not the kind of contract you'd get someone if you wanted to really keep them. But it's like, okay, I guess we could use a jobber. And I, I pretty I just did this, right? Yeah, I just did this one. Baruto. Oh man. You, uh, boy, was this not a good time to get your ass kicked? Like nobody's business. I'm gonna give you fifteen hundred. But yeah, I'm not gonna like throw everything at you for this. Last chance for Kung Fu Panda to walk through. You're not gonna get a huge. You're not gonna get a huge contract. Uh, Simon Bayor, Kaylin Curran. Yeah, she did good. She won. Or no, she didn't win. But she did have a. She did have a, a very good fight. She had a she had a nice fight. I'll make it twelve hundred. There you go. I don't see anyone trying to grab her. CB Dalloway got his contract. Batara versus Kane. Oh yeah, that's right. Because some of the people I've grabbed and they're on short lists. Yeah. Oh, male is classified as important. They're unhappy with Ryzen 12. They want more stars on the next show. I think there were stars. There was Gabby Garcia. There was Baruto. Oh, you want actual stars. Okay. Gotcha. And <laughs> not, some, not some meme stars. Uh, four shows remaining on Match TV and Kings of Bucks versus blah, 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 blah. Okay. We got CB Dalloway. Um, I guess we can find out after UFC tonight if there's going to be anyone potentially uh, I could grab. Didn't? Ah, oh, damn. I think. Isn't, isn't Punk fighting here soon? Oh, he's not under. Okay, so he must be under Phil Brooks. Isn't he fighting coming up? Oh, that's all the way in October. All right. Well, I don't have to worry about that right now then. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what are they talking about? I got to have stars. I have plenty of people I wanted to see on that show. Everything's fine. <clears throat> Let's see. Matchmaking. So we'll put one more fight on here. And Alan Crowder's going to have to fight somebody. There's not really a good person except maybe Rock Mar R Rook Martinez. Oh, I should probably see when Bayor's coming back. I didn't even check that. Whoops. Oh, yeah, he could also probably do it down here, too. Simon Bayor. 
Simon Bayor. There we go. 41 days. Yeah, there's no way he's coming back in time to do anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace him, and he can have a fight in the future now that he's exclusive, exclusive as a potential number one contender fight. I'll just have to remember that. We'll get uh, Ruck Martinez in there because it looks like he's the one. Well, see, the heavyweight ranking seems like it would have... See, I can't do preliminary card stuff. I need to have like a, a yeah, the main card. There's a main eventer. I don't think it's a good idea to have that like balance, unbalanced of a fight though. So we'll do Martinez, Crowder Martinez, and we'll put that uh, up here. And then you know what? We can maybe do another fight. We can do like Dos Santos La Banner. That could give him uh, something to do. You don't have time for a full training camp. You don't have time for a full training camp. Sure, why not? We need people. All right. Uh, we'll put this. Uh, yeah, we'll put that right right there before the uh, the other main matches. I think that'll I think that'll work. Even though LeBanner should be main eventing, I mean, eh, he's fine. He'll be okay, I guess. He might not be happy about it, but he'll be fine. Uh, is this the save? Which one save? That one's just gonna save real quick. Somehow I'm making money. Okay. So I guess I'll wait a few weeks for people to recover. Well, actually, let me see this. I guess I can add another potential show. Let me just do... Uh, if I can just auto-name it. Ryzen 14. It could be Saturday in September. Uh, Auto-fill it. And... Hmm. Uh, let's see who's available at that time. There's a lot of people not available. We need BJ Penn to be available. I don't know when he's available, technically. He might be gone for a little while. It might be a little bit before I'm actually able to, to, to use him. Let me see. Roster. I mean, is BJ Penn... Come up three months in a week, medical suspension, five months, three. Oh, boy. Not only is he not only was he beaten and recovering, he was suspended. Or at least a medical suspension might not be. He's still awaiting his drug test results. So. Yeah, thanks. Stay hydrated, bot. <laughs> When's Bob Sap come back? Maybe we can maybe we can hype up Bob Sap. We need we need star. They want star power. They're gonna get star power. Six days. We should do it. Oh no, we do have the September thing. So October is the next one we're gonna want. So if we add Ryzen 14, and it's on Saturday week four in October, we fill that. And availability. All right, he's still not back. Neither is Crowder, Dalloway, any of these guys. I, I think most of these guys are also still fighting. Rin Nakai is not going to be back for a while. Neither there's Tom Lawler. He got his shit pushed in. But Bob Sapp will be there. Gabby Garcia will be there. Clay Guida will be available by that point. Uh, Houston Alexander, Ian McCall. Kind of Watanabe, Misha Tate. Wow, we could fill this bad boy up with some, with some seriousness. Might not want to do that, you know. Might not, might want to keep some of the some of the names around. But uh, I wonder if we can. I wonder if we can. Let, let's just save that because we'll definitely have a Ryzen 14. Yeah, we don't have anyone set right now. We're gonna have to wait for them to come up. But we'll have that. We have that set up. Yep. 
always love that when they call New York. Ryzen 14. And its subtitle will just be, The Network Wanted Us to Have Stars, So We Got Bob Sap. The network wanted stars, so Bob Sapp is fighting again. We will see one or both of these men later on, but it's Tama Zack Saber Jr. Right, I could probably Oh, here we go. Actually, yeah. Let's take a look and see if anything interesting happens. Reza Madadi. Uh let's take a look at his skills. Not great at all, honestly. I'm not going to worry too much about it then, I guess. Uh, see if there's any other people I might want to. Uh, uh, Kyoji Horiguchi. He's annoyed by Ian McCall. Good to know. <clears throat> Ryzen Star Power. Ryzen 14 Battle of the Network Stars. It's a very good idea. Looks like uh, UFC have okay. UFC have cut a few people. They're just down here more. Uh, he's a preliminary card guy. He's thirty-four. Uh, he's he's not too bad. But yeah, he's not very. He's not very. Uh, yeah, we just I just won't worry about him. Uh, trying to see. Doesn't look like there's anything else I want right now. Trying to see if there's anybody else. It doesn't look like there's really going to be anything else right now of people I want. Oh, boy. All right, let's, let's, oh, my God. All right, so they're only, she's only looking at me. Well, talk is hot now. Tango Low is annoying. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, we'll go to next Monday. How about that? <clears throat> I like to try to get through as much as I can so I could get to the next show. Unfortunately, though, it also probably mean that if I get through two shows, then the next show won't probably have hardly anybody. I don't know. It'll give me a chance by the end of that week to uh, look at people who might have a fight camp available. We'll see if I can make it through a month. If it's still technically on Monday, I might not be afforded that opportunity. Uh... Why are you able to advance multiple years at once in this? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think, I don't know about multiple years, but I'm pretty sure you can advance to, like, the end of the year in TEW. Hey, there's Yumika Hota. I should try to go grab her. Be like, hey, we want to do, we need star power for our next show. So here's my idea. Garcia versus Hota 2. It should be a barn burner. I would love to see Gabby Garcia, Yumika Hoda 2, just to watch. I want to see if that is on. I'm tired. I'm going to find it. Wow. Okay. You know what? This might be. It, they might not have it under Gabby Garcia versus Yumika Hoda. It might just be Gabby Garcia. It's just under, like, Grandma versus Gabby Garcia. Perfect. I found it. <laughs> she's not even Yumika Hota, former pro wrestler, in here. She's just grandma. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I just want to get to the actual fight because the fight is ridiculous. There you go. Talked about the win. Oh, great. Now they put the, the fucking Benny Hill music in here. That's fantastic. That that makes it even better. Oh, my God. <laughs> Phenomenal. Maybe we can have this. Oh, God. Oh, I forgot she ate such a big-ass knee. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. She's almost, she doesn't last very long. Should be pretty much done. 
There you go. <laughs> oh my god. That's just not right. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. <laughs> they even put the fucking Benny Hill music in. TW's end of the year, and even that seems kind of long sometimes. Wouldn't you ask some shows during that time? Uh, you never know, I guess. I guess it maybe depends on if you're someone like, you know, like the Wrestling Revolver that does maybe like eight shows a year and only like three are in Iowa. But if he lets go to reach out to tag. Whoa, puts him on his feet though, Lance. <clears throat> Apparently I missed a really good Tama Tonga match Apparently his match against Naito Was actually one of the best Tama matches <laughs> I think someone had made the joke That Tama Tonga is going to steal Cody Rhodes' uh, Three Star General name <laughs> Uh, doesn't look like there's anything really, uh, let's see, UFC's got something at the end of this week, so maybe something there, maybe, maybe someone will be around and I could take their, uh, take someone then, I don't know, maybe I could steal Michael Bisping. Probably won't be able to, but <laughs> I could just imagine Bizping and Ryzen. Trying to think if there's anyone else. I mean, you know, Norma Gamedoff would be uh, interesting too. Sugar Rashad Evans wouldn't be too bad. He can't be that. He can't have that huge a name value at this point. Mid-level national. Okay, well, he's still got some name value. He was on the pre... That was the thing that really blew my mind, though, is that sh the fucking Rashad Evans was on the prelim for, the, uh, for the, the punk fight. It's like, man, I like CM Punk, and I get why they put him on the main card, but it's just, a, it's just, it, it, it's just not right to someone like Rashad Evans. Like, I'm sure he's not nearly the fighter that he was, like... Seven, eight years ago. That's just not right to put him on the prelims because you got to have this fucking punk Jackson fight. Other than that, I don't really see anybody off the top of my head that I would be, uh, you know, hoping to try to grab. Maybe her. I don't know. 27, not bad. 9 and 1 from Brazil. We need more Brazilians. Someone to carry Gabby Garcia's legacy. Whoops. I meant to advance multiple days. More of a Tama fan recently than you had in a long time. <clears throat> there, was a, there was a series of comments that was pretty funny because they were doing the... Because uh, when uh, Tama and Roman Reigns were having like their little Twitter exchange... Someone commented, they're like, Roman looking at the heel that he should be. And then someone else commented, Tama looking at the in-ring worker he should be. <laughs> I'm like, that's fucked up, but not untrue. What? Oh, yeah. Ask out of work early or set your alarm clock. <laughs> I'm guessing it's around the same time it always is. <clears throat> Unless it's earlier than usual. I mean, this is a decently small show, I think, anyway. It's got a lot of people in it, but probably a decently small show. I'm just uh, I'm just imagining that because Yoshihashi is uh, uh, main eventing. <laughs> I 
Mm. We'll see if anyone I could try to steal or gets cut from UFC. I might want. I guess I could probably also look at uh, Bellator and some of the guys that come out from there. Oh, Juice is at a point. Oh, yeah, that's right. He hasn't won, so I guess Juice is at a point that basically he'd have to win out the rest of his matches. Could happen. It'd be kind of fucked if they did that to Juice. After the G1 performance that he had, um, was there something in here I should be watching? Is this a dude? I mean, this looks like a dude, I guess. He's got that, um, oh man, I forget the name of the, of the kid. Oh, that dude's fucking hair. As I smack around my microphone cord, hang on. What the fuck was his name? From Ned's Declassified. It's it's the kid it's the kid from Ned's Declassified. That's that's what I that that's what his hair looks like. It's like the, the kid from Ned's Declassified grew up and became a fighter. It's a it's a it's an amazing story. He was uh, he was just a kid on a Nickelodeon show, and uh, now he's he's grown up to, <laughs> to be a fighter. I can't wait. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Oh, okay. So this is, must be why. Is this someone who's under contract with me? Someone I was looking at. This might have been it because a 19-year-old with a one and no record and probably oh, oh. Now I remember why I was looking at her. Shit. <laughs> okay. Well. Okay. Might have to look into that. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, let's just let's just ah, oh, I forgot to All right, let's just skip to the end here. Knocked her out in round 2. Cool. Name check, shows respect, class act. Welcome welcome to this next episode of uh, looking for a fight. <laughs> Tonight we look at Corey McKenna. Oh, yeah, that's right. I should uh, I should uh, take a look at the fight fight stuff because people should be recovering by now. I forgot I should be doing that. I should have done that at the beginning of the last week. But you know what? I still got just under six weeks coming up on this one. So that'll be fine. 70% healed is the bone that he broke with Switchblade Jay White. I'm ready to damn near pass out. Now Yano's in a bit of conflict, I think. He's between styles. It's well, yeah. <laughs> and then he got blown out last night by Goto. Uh, he did. <clears throat> <laughs> but he beat Ibushi. He did. No easy task. Nope. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, tried fair play he's tried his old tricks last night a combination of both i like how yano tries to wrestle seriously and the first thing he does is uh 
is go to his cheating ways already. Be like, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yeah. I feel weird because it goes, ooh. Bellator is going to try to get Melendez and Bisping. Interesting. Let me see his name value, mid-level national. There's a pretty good chance I would be too small for him. Nope, I guess not. 20,000. But I feel like if I'm going to get anybody, it's got to be Bisping. Like, if I'm going to... Oh, man, that high-level national is a pain. Well, I can't get Bisping. I'm thinking Melendez, but let me let me look at some other guys here. Let me see, right? Uh, nah, maybe not at that. Uh, Glenn Valente. Nah. David Grant, 32 years old. Preliminary card, guys. I need some, like, main event guys. So I might have to try Sexism Row. Wait, the 45-year-old Brazilian fighter has ignited a social media war after posting sexist comments that have drawn irate feedback from many other users. The storm, which began last night, has grown steadily more heated, gathering momentum going viral. Jorge Petito, who has since deleted the original comments, has yet to offer any sort of formal apology. This is the difference between TEW 2016 and WMMA 5, as TEW 2016 was made in 2016. And WMMA 5 was made in current year. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Uh, 31, 33. Everyone's so old. I want some, some like, uh, sort of known, but also I think I'm just going to have to go for... I think I'm just going to have to go for Melendez. Bellator want them, so maybe I could try to get him. 22-5. Uh, let's give him 5% performance scale. Let's do three fights. Exclusive fighter. Oh, complete shot. 20, 20, 20, and let's go like 8,000. have better offers from other companies. All right, four and six, four guaranteed fights. 24,000. Here we go. How about, Really? What are we? What are we? What are you offering here? Oh God! Five years or seven fights? How old is he? He's thirty-six. I could probably get seven fights out of him in less than five years. How many fights are they guaranteeing? Three. They want twenty thousand. I'll do twenty-three. Uh, they do an eighteen and five thousand. All right. Really? Do you really think that's a better offer? I'm giving you more for everything here. All right. 25,000. 25% is is extremely good. And 9,000. If you don't take this, really? How is that a better How is that not a better offer? You dingus. Five years, seven fights. That's what they were offering. I'm giving you four guaranteed fights as opposed to... Okay. Bellator is probably... No, Bellator is offering even worse. Bellator is not even offering that. Base pay is 25000 compared to twenty. Five percent here. I'm going to go up to seven five, And we'll see. There you go. Let's just try to outdo them here. It's not a bad endorsement. Maybe Hinari can get an endorsement. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, Mickey Gall. I'm like, why are they telling me about Mickey Gall? I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. I have him on my thing. Uh, McKenna. You know what? I think I think we'll get her. I think we'll get her. We'll give her guaranteed three fights. 1,500. And we'll just leave everything else good. There you go. I, I, I liked her. I liked her performance. I thought she was good. These other people... Eh. Let me see. What is she? Oh, she's an Invicta as well. Ooh. Okay, 24. Okay, I seem to have, like, decent decent enough feelings about about getting some good fighters. Okay, she's not a great fighter, but she can get better. Uh, Alyssa Garcia. I, I need to... I don't know why Miyu Yamamoto... I, see, I'm assuming that Miyu Yamamoto wouldn't just keep, keep getting hired. But nonetheless, it keeps happening. So... A lot of extended deals happening here. Trying to see if there's anything else. Nah, everything else seems fine. All right. All right, let me look at the matchmaking real quick for Ryzen 14 because we don't have anything right now. So we can put our... Oh, my God. Are we going to do our Gele versus Bob Sapp? We should probably put Bob Sapp against someone else. Someone who should be main event. Oh, there's no one. There's really no one. So, are we gonna do Ari Gele versus Bob Sapp? Can that be? Can that be like the the coming out party here? That might be a good idea. Thirteen thousand dollars to make this happen. Ari Gele versus Bob Sapp. Phenomenal. Kosaka versus Almeida. Uh, I guess if that'll be a prelim fight, we could put that on the prelims. Add that. Middleweight Houston Alexander f should face somebody. You got Yuta Uchida. I mean, that's a very... Uh, yeah. We'll put that on the main card. And we'll come down here to welterweight. You got Yuta Watanabe and Andrews Nakahara. That's okay. That's very. Uh, all right. Yeah, we'll go ahead and add that fight. That'll be a main fight as well. Come down to lightweight. Oh, we need Clay Guida. Clay Guida needs himself a fight. And these guys can main event. So, hmm. Let's see here. Trying to see who would be a good, I mean, main eventing biggest shows. That seems like a guy. I think it might be Kawajiri, but I'm looking at other guys here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. And we could actually, uh, we can main with that then. Clay Guida and Tatia Kawajiri, since they wanted a main event, and it'll be a decent main event, I think. So I will do that. We want another. We want another one. Uh, let's see here. Ten six two. Uh, some other main card guys. Ooh. I like Nishira. Uh, it's not the best of fights to be putting him up against. So maybe we use him and then put somebody else up there. Or we'll take a women's main card fight. How about that? We can put, well, Misha Tate. I don't, she'll she'll headline her own show. How about that? We can put, uh, <laughs> put Gabby Garcia in there again. Uh, Reina Kubota. Probably Kana. Uh, who do I want to who do I want to put in here? They have a lot of preliminary card people, not a lot of stars, which is. I mean, we could do Reina Kubota again. Uh, as to who she faces, uh, Mizuki Inoue, that'd be a close fight. Okay. I'm trying to see if there's uh, anything else here. 
Ooh, Kyra Batara. You know what? I think I'm going to do Inoue. It'll be a hometown fight too, so that'll be that'll be that'll be it too. She's got a lot of momentum con coming up against uh, Inoue, who will probably want to try to get a good fight. So we'll do that, and we'll put this uh, up here somewhere. And let's see, Gabby Garcia can have a can have a fight. Maybe she'll preliminary card it. Ooh. These two have never fought before. These two can be in the prelim. So we'll add that. Hmm. Okay. Da, 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 da. We put Kyra Batara. Oh, she's a main main card person. We might save her. Oh, I do have Yumika Hota. Oh, she should fight somebody. We can put Kana Watanabe in there. How about that? That's probably a decent idea. Oh wow, that's not okay. Is Yumika Hota someone we can <laughs> versus Andy Nguyen? Why not? That seems like it's. Seems like it'd be somewhat helpful. One of them needs a win. That seems like a prelim fight. Perfect. Um, <laughs> we're just going to do a bunch of women's fights. I think that's how we're just going to do this. Uh, maybe we'll check the, let's see, flyweights. Ooh, flyweights definitely got some people. Flyweights definitely got people. Um, so we could put Ian McCall up there against, let's see, what'd be good, wow, Ian McCall will just get his, his butt kicked, except for this dude, and that's not, there's such a difference between them. <laughs> uh, so I guess we could do maybe someone like, uh, Yuki Motoyoya. Gives Ian McCall a fight to do in the prelims. Why not? And we'll move up to lightweight because there's a lot of people here too. So we need we need cosplay dude fighting somebody. As to who, I don't know. Um... Andy Sauer, Minoru Kimura. No, these two did fight already. Hmm. I'm trying to see something that'd be them on a preliminary card. Uh, and wouldn't be too bad. There's not a lot. <laughs> Uh, he could, but he's a main, I mean, it says he's a main card guy, so I don't know if I want to do that to him, but we should, we should put him up there. I don't know how I feel about Andy Sauer. Uh, they fought once before three years ago. You know what? We should do it again. <laughs> Screw it. That'll be the, that'll be in the prelims. Why not? Why not? We'll put that right sort of in the middle there. What am I watching in the background? G1? Yeah. I got the G1 going on in the background. So five and five. I'd say that's pretty good. We got six fights there. We got a lot of uh, main fights there. Six and I guess a two. We'll see if there's anyone who... I mean, we're like less than two weeks away. If there's anyone who wants a, a prelim fight. <laughs> Any of you guys want a prelim fight coming up here? It's probably way too, way too soon. I mean, these guys have time for a quick camp if you want it. You want a fight? You can take your fight. I got gotcha. you. Eighteen hundred dollars to just get a get another prelim fight in there. Yeah, let's see here. Lightweight, welterweight, nothing there. Open weight. Lady Tapa can go in again. <laughs> Lady Tapa can go in and, and fight again. Uh, yeah, why not? It, she 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 won in like what a minute, two minutes, maybe. 
So if they do quick camps, that'll be fine. There you go. Get yourselves another fight going on. I don't think I'm going to get to the next fight. I'll probably just go through the week and get to the week of the next event. That seems like a good idea. I feel like I should almost do things a little bit more in reverse where I do like the booking of shows and then the show at the end. I feel like all this is because I'm basically doing the main event and then and then the rest of the stuff. <laughs> doesn't give people incentives to stick around or <laughs> it's like well we already saw the event so why stick around for more that was a heavy exchange I might call it. I might call it good here pretty soon. Ooh, there's a McGregor fight coming in November. Bantamweight division in Bellator. Oh, they're adding. Okay. Heavy face Bradley show retiring. Uh, uh, that Jorge Patino. One FC don't give a fuck about no sexist comments. One FC don't care. Once hype is the next Rickson Gracie. Huh. <laughs> I think we're good then. Let me see here. Uh, he got booked. Rival bid update for Gilbert Melendez. Oh, I guess I should have uh, checked that. Uh, what's the rival bids look like? Uh, I'm still, I'm still doing quite a bit here. Oh man, that 25, 200. I think, I think we still offer, cause they're offering, yeah, we're not, that we're offering more. Like they're offering about the same amount of money, but we're offering more fights. We're offering more fights for over a longer period of time. So that makes sense. <clears throat> um, let's see, nothing, nothing, nothing. I might get to Saturday if they haven't. If I haven't heard of signings yet, when Saturday comes by, I might just call it good and play some football because I'm, I'm going to eventually fade out. That will happen very quickly. <laughs> so I'd like to make sure I have that. Uh, Cormier clashes with Gustafson on social media. Uh, left the fight team. Let me see here. Is there another U? There's not another UFC event coming up, so at least not this week. It looks like, unless it's happening, I don't know, some other time. I wish I wish it was a little bit easier for me to kind of like look at the calendar and be like, oh, okay. <clears throat> And now we're getting to like the Now we're getting to like a decent uh the decent tag matches. Bah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I might. I think I might call it good at this end, and then change over to something else. 
keep my uh, keep my uh, my wits about me. Oh, there is. Oh, there's a Donald Cerrone uh, GSP fight. Belfort versus Machida. Arlovsky versus Verdum. What year is it? I forgot how long Cerrone's been around. But, like, Jesus. Didn't Machida actually just win a fight? I can't remember. Like I, from what I remember, he's still around, and he gets he gets fights twenty four and eight. He beat Vitor Belfort a couple months ago at UFC twenty two twenty four. Don't know if it was main or doesn't really show you. The fact that it was about four down, four or five down, it was probably main towards the beginning of the main. All right. Uh, there we go. Oh, oh, he re-signed with the UFC. Even after all that, he re-signed. But we did get this Corey McKenna girl that seemed uh, pretty damn good. So I feel good about that. Um, I will call it there. I'm sure people won't be the, the, the most happy about that. But, I mean, I did make sure to do a show. And we are set up for the next one. So the next time I do this will be Ryzen 13, the heavyweight championship tournament, round two. Simon Bayor uh, not available, as I see, to uh, to do himself uh, a second round fight. So um, I have uh, Roque Martinez to take his place uh, to face Alan Crowder. And, uh, you know. He will get a a uh, probably a number one contenders fight um, in the future to deal with that. Uh, Matt Riddle will be on there. Cron Gracie, Reina Miura, Dos Santos versus uh, Geronimo Dos Santos, Jerome LeBanner, and main evented of course by Jason Miller versus Heath Herring. One of these two will go to the heavyweight championship finals and face the winner of Alan Crowder, Rock Martinez. Should be very interesting to see how this happens. We already got most of, uh, I'd say we got the, the, the very good portion of 14 already set up with uh, Clay Guida versus uh, Tetsuya Kawajiri. Should be interesting as well. Auri Gele versus Bob Sapp. Uh, should be something. <laughs> Randy Kubota, Houston Alexander, Yuta Watanabe. Uh, Gabby Garcia fighting again. Very interesting uh, to see what will happen there. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, so thank you. I'll be moving to football here uh, on stream while I uh, <laughs> fight my fatigue. And uh, thank you guys uh, for watching, if you're watching this on YouTube. And I will see you next time.